Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of the Euro Truck Simulator 2 Lorry Lobby. This is probably the fifth one and uh, it's been a very, very long time since I last played this game. Never mind made an episode of this uh, unusually and unexpectedly popular series. But um, like fair play to all the views that I've been getting on all my videos of this series and uh, this is a reward for you uh, st staying loyal to the channel and uh, obviously you want to hear what I have to say about particular topics but uh, one thing I will say is that um, you know today's subject is very personal to me so I don't know how interesting I can make it for you guys but I'll do my very best um, I'm just gonna pick a job that we can possibly do uh, like not too long not too short uh, Swansea but no I definitely want to go to Swansea one day yeah. Uh, Swansea seems like a good deal, so we'll set that as our job. Um, and speaking of jobs, today is the uh, you know is the day where I'm going to talk about my uh, history of employment. And yes, it's been a very uh, up and down sort of um, you know sort of approach to life because a lot of people while they're in college, you know, they usually have to work to pay for everything and uh, get through their studies at the same time whereas for me I was quite fortunate in that regard as um, I was uh, able to get through my studies without having to work um, but at the same time um, I had to contribute whatever money I had saved up that had to go straight into uh, the college funds and uh, more often than not uh, I'd have you know I'd have to be careful every single uh, bit of money I, 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 I uh, had so oh shit um, yeah probably in the wrong lane anyway fuck uh, yeah oh shit uh, sorry um, okay it has been a while so I apologize um, but anyway yeah so basically what has happened is uh, after about eight months of unemployment post college I have finally found work uh, for the first time uh, in a long time. It's actually an internship at a uh, content marketing company but uh, unfortunately I'm going to withhold a lot of information from you guys as it's very private and personal to me. I don't want to uh, you know give away too many details about myself but um, I'll try and explain as best I can what life was like being unemployed for so long and how things like YouTube and uh, you know, you know, being loyal to my friends on the internet uh, kept me uh, motivated to find work. And uh, it's been about a month now I've been in that job, and it's gone very well, I have to say. Um, definitely happy as Larry. Um, like I am a journalism student, so there is elements of journalism present in content marketing, uh, which is great. But uh, on the other hand, uh, I am trying to help a business grow. Um, like using the clients of the business as well as the actual uh, business itself so I'm kind of biased in my uh, reporting and uh, blogging that sort of thing but uh, if you don't know what content marketing is I'll explain it to you very uh, quickly I'm sure most of you would know if you're internet savvy uh, basically uh, it means that um, instead of uh, taking the traditional advertising approach um, uh, like telling people to buy your product or service using TV, print or radio uh, you go uh, onto social media or another part of the internet set up your own website and advise people on how to become more informed about your product or service so they might end up buying what you want after uh, you know a bit of persuasion that sort of thing so it's definitely something that appeals to me a lot more than uh, marketing in the traditional sense which is very off-putting because of uh, you know how blatantly uh, you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for oops wrong button uh, they're just blatantly uh, self-serving and uh, more often than not you just don't want to see these kind of ads so being able to choose what uh, you want to do online is great and uh, I think content marketing is a way forward um, uh, and uh, I wouldn't want to become a business leader and like that but the idea 
of uh, helping companies become better at uh, what they do online is uh, very appealing to me. And uh, you'd be surprised about how many uh, companies have very poor web presence. Um, like there are still some very shoddy websites and people don't even uh, make an attempt to be strong on social media, which is a very, very um, ignorant thing to do. And uh, definitely, uh, sorry, it's just so hard to think at the minute, but um, it's just being ignorant of social media is not really the way to go unless your brand specifically uh, works uh, as a person to person uh, sort of thing. Um, but definitely, most companies can benefit from an online presence. And uh, what the company I work with now uh, offers is a, a you know reasonable rate. Uh, of prices to help uh, particular situations, um, whether it be an underdeveloped website, whether it be uh, trying to set up social media, uh, whether it just be uh, hosting issues, like you never know what uh, hosting uh, problems arise. Um, and what else? So yeah, anyway, I'm uh, working away at that. Um, it's actually an internship, so I don't actually have a full time uh, pay packet or anything like that so it's a little bit uh, distressing but I do um, since I was on job seekers allowance for about seven months from um, I don't know what was it uh, the summer like I, I signed up on in the summer and uh, I'm still on it but the internship was part of my uh, uh, job seekers plan so you're allowed to apply for an internship if you've uh, been on the doll for three months or longer under what's called the job bridge scheme uh, and it's very controversial here in Ireland because of how uh, you know bigger companies can exploit the system and uh, under uh, under pay and under uh, under uh, value their uh, job bridge employees and they can you know not really learn anything at all so uh, I have a nine month commitment to this uh, to this uh, internship but the hope is I can, uh, you know, imp impress my uh, two bosses and, uh, you know, earn a full-time uh, role in the company, which would be absolutely fantastic. But um, I suppose uh, the one thing I want to do, talk about in a slightly better detail, is uh, uh, what I've done in my months away from uh, from from the working and uh, education life. And uh, what I regret and what uh, I felt I did well, um, despite never even coming close to a job in uh, over eight months. So um, basically, when I graduated from college, like it was May, that was my final ever class in uh, my four years of college in journalism, and uh, that was a momentous moment. And I couldn't wait to uh, get a break from uh, studies and see how my results uh, appeared. Uh, in the later summer months, it was uh, going to be a while anyway before I got my results. So my plan was to uh, obviously take a big long break. I wanted at least two months away from everything and to uh, enjoy life as it should be because uh, uh, I love being uh, at home. I just want to spend uh, lots of time gaming and uh, just generally having uh, social evenings and things like that in the summer. So that was my original plan uh, to just uh, you know, miss to catch up on things I might have missed out on uh, in in a uh, in life. So uh, I definitely did as much of that as I could, but money was going to be difficult. Um, you know, I need to make some sort of money. So what I did was I applied for a, a role as a poll clerk uh, for the local European elections uh, at the end of the month of May, and uh, that was a very very bizarre experience to say the least because it was worth a lot of money for one day's work um, I definitely got a fair uh, payment but uh, it was a 14 hours straight like no breaks no nothing uh, you had to work 14 hours non-stop uh, in the same building so it was like 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. that's very very long and uh, I definitely wouldn't mind doing it again but uh, it was a very, very arduous task, uh, making sure everyone who voted was accounted for. So, um, so I had to cross off names and 
check for ID and that sort of thing. It wasn't hard, but um, certainly you can feel my driver yawning away there. He's uh, it was definitely it would wear you out. Like you just have to um, concentrate and relax and uh, just make sure everyone was taken care of. So. Uh, like my supervisor she was uh, pretty nasty like she'd have uh, a few snide remarks but otherwise uh, she was really sound and uh, I enjoyed that uh, enjoyed that work for the most part but the one thing I did do was I gave myself food poisoning the, the day before the work began so I was very very ill and I only barely made it in to the job and I was uh, feeling under the weather all day long so uh, she obviously stuck that needle into my arm and uh, made sure uh, I knew about it. But I did my best and I survived the day. And uh, thank God for that. Uh, I would have been very embarrassed if I got sick uh, doing that work and causing a ruckus. So that was uh, my money for the summer earned. Um, but once my, uh, you know, the big thing about my summer was uh, we moved house. Uh, like we 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 no longer live in uh, Dublin 24. We've moved house. Uh, you probably noticed, but I I didn't want to say it again to privacy uh, protection and all that. So we now live in a very different area to where I was before. And uh, my my parents suggested oh sign up on the uh, job seekers allowance, and uh, maybe you can uh, help pay uh, the bills for us. Like uh, we, it's very unfair my parents that. Uh, I should be uh, sitting on my uh, backside and them uh, working away as best I can. But I'm always loyal, uh, like they understood uh, that I did deserve time off after my studies. But on the other hand, uh, the time had to come eventually when I could find some work. And uh, that was my solution to go on the job seekers for hopefully a month or two and then find some sort of work and uh, be done with that. But things didn't work out that way. As uh, by the time we'd moved house, um, that says 50, okay. Uh, by the time we'd moved house, I had no uh, progress made in job seekers at all. Um, like, we were really, really, uh, or I was really, really struggling to uh, make uh, a go of making a job because I was applying a little bit. Uh, I was applying very high and I didn't have much experience. So I was going for the likes of Irish Times, Irish Independent, Joe.ie, uh, DailyEdge.ie, trying to find some sort of journalism related work and nothing was uh, uh, working out for me. So it's very demoralizing, not as much getting a, a reply, like nine times out of ten, uh, you just get an acknowledgement email saying, uh, thanks for applying uh, for this job, I'm afraid you weren't... Uh, uh, this chosen candidate this time but um, I do admit I was a little over ambitious going for those kind of jobs when I had no true experience um, so that's like August now so I moved house in August and then I had to change over uh, my my uh, details to the different con to the different um, jurisdiction um, and that was very very stressful as they found that uh, like the means test that uh, you need to that the social welfare need to calculate um, they found that we were earning too much for me to get any job seekers at, at all which was highly unfair since my parents do not uh, earn a uh, you know wage over the uh, limit so I thought that was very very unfair on the parents and it was very unfair on me as I had no way of paying for anything um, between September and November when they eventually decided to award me uh, back my uh, job seekers so that was just really really confusing and really really demoralizing so those were the worst months of my job seekers uh, being denied what I was entitled to and uh, just the pressure to pay for everything was changing uh, dramatically as certainly my graduation ceremony was coming up later in the year my car uh, my parents decided to uh, give me the car uh, to to become my own which was obviously a great um, a great privilege but uh, 
it was just a very very bad time because if you're not making the money you you know you're going to be uh, overexerting yourself eventually Ooh. and uh yeah sorry i'm just trying to think really really hard and it's not working out so those kind of months were bad um i tried other things locally in my new uh my new place of residence but it's very small compared to what i'm used to so i was trying all sorts of different things and um my objective was to either get a, some sort of work by my graduation which didn't work out uh, this was november time or get something by the new year and that failed as well so at this stage i was really losing hope and i was only getting 50 euros a week on the door which is not a whole lot of money at all but uh, with, when I'm living with my parents, it's a little bit more workable. Um, so, uh, basically what I did was, uh, on the Job Bridge website, uh, there was this job called uh, Web-Based Graphic Designer uh, for the internship scheme. And I applied for that, uh, despite thinking their address was like 10 miles away from my house. And that they probably wouldn't pick me on that basis. Um, but thankfully, about three weeks later, they uh, came back to me and said we're very interested in uh, having a chat and uh, see how you get along. So I was delighted to finally get positive feedback because I hadn't even so much as gotten an interview out of anybody. And, and uh, that was as close as I was going to get to an interview, so I was delighted. And uh, I had a chat with the boss and he was, uh, he was happy with what I had... Uh, what I brought forward, what I'd hoped to do, and uh, I got the uh, placement in February. So great news! I uh, finally broke the mold and uh, ended the misery of uh, of you know not being able to you know have a decent source of income. But um, it's it's only like a little better than being on the dole itself. But the opportunity to make a uh, a full-time position, a reality would be great as uh, we approach this level crossing. Um, my dude is pretty tired as well. Um, so yeah, um, the kind of work I'm doing at the minute is uh, I've written a fair few blogs for people, which is a good way to uh, provide information for the uh, audience that you want to bring to your to your business. Uh, I've looked at how building through WordPress. Uh, can benefit uh, you know and how it can be so simple uh, despite looking so complicated and I've uh, organized files and all that uh, for my bosses so that's uh, all well and good but uh, probably one or two things you want to ask is uh, what was what was the best and worst things about being on job seekers because I've made it sound miserable and if that's technically uh, not true as a uh, YouTube, uh, having the free time to make YouTube videos was a great uh, motivator. Uh, you guys are uh, very, very important to me. And uh, uh, just uh, being able to play these games uh, at my own pace and uh, not having to worry about having to wake up early in the morning or anything was grand. But uh, I will say that uh, like when you're on the door or you don't have a job, uh, waking up in the mornings can be a bit tricky and uh, sometimes what happens to me is I, I like getting up uh, reasonably early in the day and uh, not missing out on things but um, if I woke up at like midday or something uh, that would annoy me quite a bit and I'd have to leave things till the next day um, to actually get whatever I need to do done such as going to the bank or uh, you know whatever personal things I wanted to do maybe I'd uh, get petrol for the car. Just those menial tasks, I'd often procrastinate and uh, forget about doing those for a good while anyway. But uh, being able to stay up late and watching sports is always good, so you don't have to worry about that or maybe going out to friends for a social night. Uh, not having to worry about when you wake up in, in the morning is fair, fair dues. Um, and then I got to do things I wouldn't have been able to do um, with if I had a job like um, I haven't been on holiday abroad for a while but that doesn't bother me too much but I've uh, done other things in my spare time like I've been uh, in parts of the country I've driven I've earned a lot of experience on the road 
uh, driving my car. Um, I've learned more about it, so I like signing up to my insurance. Like uh, that was an experience that uh, would have been a lot harder to perform if I had a job, taking my uh, time and uh, just those kind of things. Like um, it gives you a better chance of concentrating on uh, you know other important duties uh, at time of day. But uh, other like bad things about job seekers was that when you're at home, you're expected to. Um, you know, do the the um, the household chores a lot more. So I'll be putting out clothes on the line or uh, cleaning my cat's toilet and uh, those sort of things. But at the other hand, uh, I was more able to help with um, <sighs> like if I needed to do someone a favor, like uh, stay at home and uh, like if a delivery person was coming at a specific hour, I could stay home and help. Uh, or if I need to take someone home from uh, school or work, that was very doable as well. Um, yeah, those kind of things. Like, uh, I, I was able to help my parents and family out in one way, but I couldn't pay them uh, to help them when they were uh, earning their income. So it's kind of a catch-22 sort of thing. Um, but um, you're probably going to ask now... Uh, like what kept you from getting a job in the first place and uh, my excuse, well it's not really an excuse, it's kind of just a reality um, I do have uh, particular learning difficulties and um, sort of problems like I, I might have social problems or uh, just like the way you hear me mumbling and jumbling my words uh, that's mostly because of what I call um, or what's known as dyspraxia which affects my motor skills so um, basically my brain thinks much much quicker than what my body can cope with so um, that would deny me being good at most jobs particularly retail like retail you need to be very very um, you know uh, enthusiastic you need to be on the ball as often as you can and you need to be uh, quick um, on the point with uh, customer queries or anything like that and if I couldn't uh, if I couldn't compute all these things in my head in a decent time then I'd be causing problems and it'd just be really really stressful and miserable so at least in the job I'm doing now um, I'm able to uh, concentrate on my own pace like I'm very good with computers and that kind of uh, helps me cope with these sort of things so that's one problem I would have had with getting a particular job which uh, most people need to pay for their college so I'm very very specific of what I can and can't do and that's obviously depressing but at the other hand you're re once you have something you're good at you're very good at and uh, I, I think I've found something that I can do for the next few months uh, unabated um, and what else am I going to say uh, I definitely can't do any heavy uh, lifting or anything like that like I, I'm not strong enough and my uh, body would uh, break down if I was given too much heavy lifting work to do so I can't do that and I can't make anything out of my hand like with my hands like I can't craft uh, anything I can't uh, do anything nice uh, arts wise I couldn't really uh, do those kind of things um, so I really need to get this guy that guy slept um, where's the parking space that's behind me so uh, those are some uh, problems I've had to deal with and um, like it's not a cop out it's just how I've had to live my life uh, a lot different to everyone else unfortunately and uh, I hope you don't judge me too harshly for that um, but I'm sure you'll understand that we've been friends a long time. The majority of us who would subscribe to the channel anyway. Um, and then uh, probably another thing is how can you save money well? Uh, like I'm generally good at saving money. Uh, like generally, I have, uh, sorry, I'm really concentrating on this now. Uh, have to bear with me. Um, like. I have been able to get things, uh, you know, quite handily sometimes. Like this computer in particular, 
Uh, I really shouldn't be able to afford a computer this good. Uh, but I have anyway, despite not being able to make much money. I've been able to go to football matches quite often, like, uh, you know, most English Premier League games would be very, very expensive to go to, whereas the League of Ireland is generally quite cheap, and the student discounts when I was in college were very, very uh, uh, appreciated, so I, ex so I benefited very much from that, and that was one thing. But how I got this computer, uh, my friend, who... Uh, who is very, very competent with these sort of things. I forget, I forget this. I'll try up the road. Um, yeah, he's very, very competent computer, so he can find the parts that I need Ooh. to uh, keep it running and to uh, have it perform at its best. He can find those parts, uh, you know, fairly well online, and you can get them at a decent price. So every time my computer broke down and I needed something, I'd save up my money, or I'd have just about enough to, to afford them, and uh, I'd uh, cope that way, which was very, very lucky. Ooh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'd actually get those parts cheaply and he'd make it for me so I don't have to go to a repair shop and uh, have that, uh, you know, sink my resources. Uh, for God's sake. I'm really, really uh, bad at this game. It's been a long time, so. Apologies, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so there's there's the truck spot that I need to uh, park into to sleep. Uh, I need to know what my details are. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh no. Uh, F8. Uh, there we go. Uh, so I need to be there by Tuesday, 2301. I should make that. Right, okay. Sorry, I'm just uh, making up a big fuss now, but uh, we're back on the roads. That's great. Um, so thanks to my friend. Like uh, you can never underestimate the value of friendship at, uh, when times are rough. Um, but money is not the most important thing in the world either. So if you have it, that's great. But if you don't, and you have friends, then uh, you've got a much better chance of uh, keeping your spirits alive when uh, times are rough. So I thank all my friends, uh, you know, keeping me uh, grounded and happy even when I, I really should be achieving more than what I had received in life, if I can say that. Like, uh, I'm a good academic, um, but I'm not really a good practical person. So when the world kind of looks like they don't want you, uh, the, the, the friendship that you've earned can definitely uh, prove otherwise if uh, that's what I'm uh, what I'm trying to tell you so god yeah it's very tough to think and uh, we're just at the end of the destination now there's 20 miles to go um, and uh, it's been a good reasonable drive I'll try and uh, compress this video down and get it up uh, as soon as I can um, uh, what else could I say um, so what is my uh, advice? I'll probably try and give you advice if you are in college now and you want to find a job when you uh, you leave or if you're on um, the doll right now or you're considering uh, I can probably try and give you a bit of advice but um, you should probably let me know what you think in the comments uh, because uh, it's all well and good me given what, what I believe um, is you know helpful information without wrecking my privacy like most of the other topics I've mentioned uh, have you know generally uh, public opinion kind of things and they wouldn't compromise my personal life uh, in the slightest but in this case it would compromise my personal life if I told you everything and uh, it would just be very silly to do so so definitely the number one is if you are on uh, if you are struggling for money um, you should probably uh, consider making sacrifices of some sort like to get this computer I needed my friends to help me out but I've also made cuts in other areas such as uh, I'm, I don't own a smartphone so I uh, I can keep my old phone running uh, lickety split and uh, not have to worry about uh, crazy phone bills or having to keep uh, 
a good phone uh, operative so that's one thing I, I do uh, number two is uh, don't just uh, rely on one tactic to get you a job uh, like I'm very very nervous when it comes to speaking on the phone or maybe handing over CV to someone in person but if you're not that kind of person then uh, definitely think about uh, providing offline uh, real life uh, applications like um, maybe handing in a letter or just going up to someone and uh, you know asking them uh, can I hand in the CV please and if they take it on that's great but if they don't then that's just in, that's just uh, someone you might want to work for in the first place um, if that makes sense um, if you are in college right now and you're not working uh, obviously working for free uh, at something that's relevant to your career is uh, very very good if you can find those kind of work places in the first place um, like I'm working for free right now like my employers can't pay me so the government uh, gives me some sort of money instead which uh, is, is very useful that will keep me motivated um, and hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll be taken off the job seekers if uh, the plan is a success um, that's one thing I can do like that's some some of my friends have made very very uh, successful uh, strides in the business world in journalism and whatever other passions they have to do so it's not all doom and gloom the times are changing ever so slightly for the better and uh, I definitely wish uh, youth employment uh, can continue to um, diminish because having the the men and women of tomorrow uh, stuck uh, doing nothing is, is no way to uh, operate a country so uh, I'm hopeful things will change for the better uh, yet again in future so I'll be uh, very grateful if if uh, things could change um, then maybe one last thing I can think of would be um, what else would it be uh, if you're in a job and well obviously like if you're in a job now and it doesn't make you happy or um, there is an opportunity to make yourself happy then you should probably take it but um, I can totally understand if uh, you need a particular job whether or not it makes you uh, happy or motivated but that's an obvious one to me and uh, that completes my journey to Swansea um, and then the last thing I will say is uh, emigration that is something I hope never to have to do uh, contrary to the belief of many of my uh, uh, compatriots and uh, my peers like immigration is a very very bad idea for me personally but working abroad for a temporary basis would be a wonderful opportunity so don't get me wrong there but immigration is absolutely not for me but if you if you must do it um, even for a few months then, then uh, you know, do whatever research is required and uh, maybe come out with a uh, logical conclusion after about three or four weeks of uh, research, maybe meeting up with people who know what they're doing. Um, but unfortunately for most of my friends, uh, you probably won't see me working for very long in your, uh, your native country, but you never know, the future could spell something very different. But um, Emigration, absolutely not for me, and I hope that my job here in Ireland is uh, a complete success, as it has been so far. But uh, this will conclude the episode. I know it's been a very, very long time, but if you want this series to remain a thing, rather than the passive six months, uh, twice a year sort of thing, um, you can suggest some topics for me below. One that's on my mind is obviously the uh, Jeremy Clarkson, Charlie Hebdo free speech debates where uh, the right to offend has been on the forefront of people's minds but that's a very very difficult one to get right so I wouldn't rush into that one so much but if you have anything that's on your mind uh, please leave it down for me below and uh, last but not least I really really hope you enjoyed listening or watching this video and uh, we'll speak again soon okay bye now <laughs>